So this is the Reolink Argus 3. Oh wait, I think I reviewed this already. Hold on. Oh, this is the Reolink Argus 3 Pro. And both of them look exactly the same. So what features does this one have that makes it a Pro? Let's find out. Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today we are going to check the new Reolink Argus 3 Pro. I did review the Argus 3 a while back and I will link it down below if you haven't seen it yet. I will also do a separate video comparing these two cameras and check out the differences. So this is the Pro version and what stands out will be the video quality and Reolink is known for this. Their cameras have always have better video quality compared to other cameras that have the same specs. Now I actually have this camera for a while now but just recently opened and tested it. So this is a pre-production model but I know Reolink already has announced that this is coming. The box that it came with is not labeled for the Pro but it should have the same accessories like the Argus 3. So we'll check out what's inside the box, set it up, check out the settings in the app and do the installation and check out its video and audio quality and do the usual tests and see if this Pro version of the Argus 3 rightfully earned its name. Thank you Reelink for sending me this unit to be reviewed and let's start by checking out the specs. So this is the Argus 3 Pro and this is a 2K 4 megapixel battery powered Wi-Fi camera. And you know which cameras I'm going to compare this to? Yep, the Arlo Pro 3 and the UP Cam 2C Pro and that will be in my upcoming videos. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you get notified when I drop the video. This camera has in the first Wi-Fi camera that Reolink sells that has AI person and vehicle detection. It has color night vision because it has two spotlights, 6500 Kelvin temperature and 230 lumens. Please note that this camera doesn't have the starlight sensor like the Argus 2 or 3. And records in 2K video quality which is two times clearer than 1080p and that is 2560 by 1440 pixel resolution and at 15 frames per second in daytime and I'll tell you later on on how many FPS at night. It has a 122 degrees diagonal field view. It can connect to both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi and it has a built-in non-removable but rechargeable battery 6500 milliamp hour capacity and battery life really depends on your use and the battery can also be charged via Reolink solar panel. It is IP65 weatherproof and has two-way audio. It has privacy masking and records motion activated events via a microSD card inserted in the camera itself and is compatible to up to a 128GB card. There is also an optional cloud storage. It has a time-lapse feature just like the Wisecam Outdoor and we will test this out later on. Aside from the spotlights, the Argos 3 Pro has a siren and can be manually activated or whenever it detects motion. It is compatible with Google Assistant and Amazon Alex A. Let's check out what will be in the box. So with a pre-production unit that I received, they basically box this like the Argos 3. So we have the usual paperwork and the camera itself which is identical to the Argos 3 except for minute details like the gray ring on the 3 Pro Spotlights, PIR, and light sensor and mic placement are the same. On the bottom, we have a rubber flap covering the on and off switch and the micro SD card slot. On the back is also the same. We have the micro USB port for battery charging, speakers, and the quarter 20 thread screw mount. What else is inside the box? We have a magnetic mount bracket and a regular screw on one. We have a strap for screwless mounting, a micro USB cable for charging mounting screws and plastic anchors. And the one accessory that's not here that will come when Reolink starts shipping these three pros is the stand bracket for shelf or table install. Now time to set this up. Download, sign up, and log into the Reolink app. Click the plus sign on the upper right corner. Scan the QR code which is on the back side of the camera. Click Wi-Fi not configured. Slide the toggle switch to turn on the camera. Wait until you hear the ding sounds from the camera and click next. Type in your Wi-Fi's password, click next. Click scan now and it will generate a QR code that you need to show the camera. Click next and wait until the camera has successfully connected. Type in a login password and name your device, which I'll name mine Argus 3 Pro. 
and it is done. Time to check out the live view. Yep, it works. Time to check out the settings in the app. In the main app page, you will see the camera and clicking on it, you will get to live view, which depending on your connection, it can load up quick, but most of the time a bit delayed. In here, you can pause the live view, mute the speaker, click the camera icon to take a snapshot, which will be saved to your phone's album. Video icon to record the live view and also be saved to your phone's album. You can change the video quality of the live view from fluent, balanced, and full 4 megapixel or 2K resolution. Expand icon for full view. On top, we have the spotlight icon to turn on the camera spotlights which also will change to full color. Siren to manually trigger the alarm. And at the bottom, we can start two-way talk which is full duplex. And clip if you want to zoom in on any part of the image in the live view. We have playback where you can view and download recorded events. A tip to download your footage, make sure you are viewing in high quality before clicking the download button. And it will say clear on the download and this will be the full resolution clip. On the upper right corner is the gear icon to get to the camera settings where it shows battery life and your Wi-Fi network. In display, you will be able to rotate the screen. and quality, you can adjust the resolution, frame rate, and bit rate of the camera in clear and fluent modes. We have day and night where you can change the camera's recording to always black and white or color or in auto mode. We have the PIR motion sensor on or off and you can adjust the sensitivity as high as to 100 and as low as 1. Depending on your setup, you can crack this up as high as 100 and you will still not get false notifications as compared before because of Reolink's AI person and vehicle detection. So the camera is only going to alert you and record when it detects people or cars. There is also an option to reduce false alarms. Also note that there are no motion zones. Camera recording, on or off, and this is where you can set what the camera records. And if you only want person or vehicle, you have to toggle it on and off here. And you can also set schedule times. We have post motion recording after the motion has stopped, you can set it to record for extra 8, 15, or 30 seconds. Overwrite, on or off. Then push notifications, toggle, on or off. And also we have push schedule, where you can schedule and customize which alerts you want to get only person and or vehicle or all events and you can schedule the times you want to get notified you can set up email alerts and we got the siren you can turn it on if you want the siren to sound when the camera detects motion or you can even record your own voice to make an announcement then we have a new feature the time lapse where you can set the camera to record a time lapse where you can select preset options or you can even customize the time lapse settings and for me and to test, I'm just going to do sunrise where it shows the interval and estimated file info. You can also change the settings if you want and click start. You do need to process it after it is done. It is like Wise's time lapse on their cameras. And we have advanced settings, toggle on or off the audio recording, the spotlights to automatically turn on when it detects motion or when you are live viewing at night. Then infrared LEDs, automatic or to stay off if you want color recording at night. Now time to check out the video and audio quality and our usual tests. But before that, if you find this video and my other videos helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. Thank you. So this is the video and audio quality of the Reolink Argos 3 Pro. And this is what the video looks like at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So this is the video quality of the Reolink Argus 3 Pro at night and this with its 6 infrared LEDs turned on and this is what it looks like at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 
30. So this is the video quality of the Reolink Argos 3 Pro at night. And this with the spotlight on and the infrared LEDs turned off or it's an automatic uh, night vision. But when the spotlight is on, this is what it looks like. It turns into color recording. So this is what it looks like at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25 30 Okay, the video and audio quality of the recording is the usual Reolink's quality, which is pretty good. But there is a bit of an issue and hopefully Reolink will be able to fix or update this soon. And that is the frame rate of the recording at night. In both black and white night vision and spotlight on color recording, it slows down to only 6 to 7 frames per second. Video quality is amazing though if the person or object stays still, but if they move around, 6 FPS is not going to cut it. I'm hoping Reeling fixes this before they roll out the final product. So we are going to check the uh, motion alert notification speed of the uh, Reeling Argus 3 Pro. And I'm on my LTE connection and it is 532. So let's check it out. There you go, and I actually have a person detection turned on. So as you can see, it says person detected from Argos 3 Pro. And when you click on it, it will get you to live view. So we are going to test the uh, cool off period of the uh, Reolink Argos 3 Pro and I am on my LTE connection and it is 5.33. So it's about a minute or less than a minute. So we'll see. There you go. I got a notification again. Cool. Less than a minute, cool off. So we are going to test the uh, maximum detection distance of the Reolink Argos 3 Pro and it doesn't have motion zones, but it has a sensitivity settings that you can set as high as 90. And I'm going to put 100 right here just for this test. Remember, this has uh, AI now. So I've set the uh, detection to uh, person no notification, as you can see. So I can crank up the sensitivity as high as I can, uh, but it will only just detect a uh, person just in my setup right here in my backyard. So let's see what is the maximum detection distance of the Reolink Argus 3 Pro. So let's start at about 35 feet. There you go. I got detected at 35 feet. Show me Argus 3 Pro. Okay. okay. Stream Argus 3 Pro in Google Hub. All right, streaming Argus 3 Pro on Google Hub.
Reelink's AI is pretty spot on, and also you still have to dial the sensitivity of the PIR sensor for your needs. Because if you keep it at the highest sensitivity, even if you set only person detection and not getting any false notifications, the camera still turns on every time it detects any type of motion. Even if it's not notifying you or recording, the frequent turning on will still drain the battery. And that is the thing I noticed the first day I tested this, where I've set the sensitivity to 100 and just set person detection. I did all my tests and set one time lapse for sunrise, and in the morning the battery drain was around 30%. So just keep that in mind, this can always be set up with Reelink solar panel to help lessen the battery drain. So I kept mine at 80 sensitivity and toggled reduce false alarms option to on. This camera also doesn't have motion zones, but in my needs, even my front garage area, it is pretty accurate in detecting people and cars that walk and drive up in my garage driveway and not getting the people on the sidewalk and cars passing in the street. But motion zones will be a great option. Lastly, I wish Reelink has rich notifications like Ring or Eufy so that you can just have a preview of what triggered the motion and not to have to open up the app. But overall, this spotlight camera and its 2K quality right now in daytime and at night pending reeling to fix the frame rate issue during night recording is best in its class. So I'll be comparing this to the Arlo Pro 3 and the Uficam 2C Pro or the Uficam 2 Pro in my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and what do you think of the new Argos 3 Pro? Comment down below and see you in the next one.